Hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous and I do mean over the top beautiful day here. In the end times at Bugs in a Jar Farm we have come into Tuesday August 24th 20, uh, <coughs> 21 and uh, it is well for the third day in a row it is time to make the best cream corn on the planet. I guys will be glad to hear. All we needed was a few more days of ripening on this absolutely delicious uh, Silver Queen corn. Silver Queen corn is non-GMO. Uh, it is the old school corn. And so once again, I do this every year. Uh, but for people who have missed it or you want to get reminded how to make the best cream corn on planet Earth, uh, I will show you how to prepare it and just tell you how to cook it. But it's all in the preparation. So we're going to start. The first thing is you want to take the husk off the corn. Man, look at this. It's hard to eat corn with the husk on it. So, uh, and it's, you want to do this. Is, I mean, I picked this corn 20 minutes ago. You want to immediately get to work because the second you uh, pick your corn, the sugar starts turning to starch. And, uh, man, look at that. Okay, so step one. Sancho! What are you doing? Come on now. My little dog is off and running somewhere off in the woods. Uh, I learned this from Julia May Robertson when I was about four years old. Julia May Robertson, one of the best cooks in Atlanta, Georgia, taught me this. Uh, how to get the most flavor. So what you need to do, I know this sounds crazy, but it really does work. You go down every single, you need a very sharp knife for this. You go down the middle of every single row of kernels. You just take the, take the tip of your knife and just literally go down every single row of kernels in this, uh, helps uh, obviously release the flavor. Oh man, this milky juice coming out of here. Sancho! Come on little dog. My little dog is off enjoying this absolutely gorgeous day. I have some people coming. They're on their way to raid my pole beans. I planted enough pole beans to uh, feed the city of Ithaca, New York. So I have folks on their way to come pick free pole beans and collard grains. And they will probably pick up some of this delicious corn while they're at it. Okay, so that really did not take that long. So now every single row has been sliced down the middle. Sancho! Is it Bob right here like that? Come on now. So then what you do is you cut off the tips. Don't go real hard down into the uh, cob. Just very lightly take your sharp knife, put your corn in your pan, preferably your, uh, your cast iron. I want to thank Kim in Florida for the gift of this absolute this is an absolutely perfect uh, cream corn pan a, this is a deep dish cast iron thing with a tight fitting lid this is the abs and this cam I just want you to know this is the most perfect uh, cream corn uh, pan I've ever had so what you're doing is see it should look like this. You're just you've sliced down the middle and now you cut off just the tips. And I say you're not gouging the uh, you don't want to gouge 
the uh, the cob itself. The whole point here is to release the flavor. And, uh, so when you finish, what you're going to have is something that looks like something that looks like this. And then you want this. You want to get all the juice. So now what you do is you grab one end of the ear and you just take it and drag it along the edge of the pan. I mean, press down hard on this and go around and around and around the ear of corn. Do one side, flip it over, do the other side and get every drop of juice. This is messy, guys. I mean, the juicier your corn, the messier it is. I suggest you do this outside. And there you go. And you have virtually nothing left. Every kernel is now out of the corn. And you're going to have in your pan something that looks like this. That's what you should have in your pan. Alright, well since I'm outside, so when you go to cook this, the only ingredients you need are butter, whole milk, half and half is even better, salt and pepper. That is it. Butter, milk, salt and pepper. And uh, so I use a stick of butter. I, the more butter the better. Uh, melt uh, for every dozen ears you make should be about a stick. Maybe not quite a stick. Maybe a stick for every 16 ears. But anyway, you melt your stick of butter in the bottom of the pan, you stir your corn around, get it all buttery, and then, uh, depending on how juicy your corn is, the juicier the corn, the less milk you need to add. So, uh, I would say probably for a dozen ears, assuming you have good juicy corn, um, about a half a cup of milk, I'm guessing. I just pour it in. Half and half makes an even richer uh, hell. Put in some of that heavy cream. Uh, so you got the butter and the cream. Mix it all up there and salt it to taste. And then put, and then really dump a bunch of pepper. You cannot have too much pepper, uh, too much black pepper. The coarse, very coarse ground black pepper. Uh, I mean, it's hard to put too much pepper in your corn. And uh, you just stir that all up. You put a tight fitting lid over it and put it on low heat and cook it for, I don't know, very low heat. You know, just bubbling and simmering for about 20 minutes. You know, stir it about every five minutes so it doesn't stick to the thing. You want that corn starch to be working uh, through to thicken it up. So Cook it about 20 minutes on low heat, stirring every few minutes. And then if you can stand it, I would let it sit about an hour and uh, thicken up with that cornstarch. And then right before you serve it, you know, heat it up one more time, stir it up. And if, if you can make it last till the next day, it's even better the next morning. Uh, unbelievably, it is better the next morning. But anyway. That's all there is to it, and absolutely do not put sugar in your cream corn. Now, this is Silver Queen, which is not this modern sugary corn. Uh, I like to be able to taste the corn in my cream corn. So with Silver Queen, this is, you know, I don't know if it's considered an heirloom, but I know that it is not GMO. I've been eating this for over 50 years. Uh, I only cream white corn. I would never cream yellow corn. And you don't want it too sweet, but absolutely do not add sugar to your cream corn. That is a crime against corn. Anyway, I am back. Back to shucking. Get out there and uh, shuck your corn. Well, you still can. I mean, look at that. I'm going to 
I picked 43 ears today. I'm going to have about 200 ears. I guess I did lose probably, I don't know, 60 or 70 ears in the big flood. And the floodwaters knocked them down, and then, of course, the chipmunks tore into them. There you go. I am back to work. Bye, guys.